Hello tubers, you catch me one fine beautiful Saturday afternoon here on New Speck at Wild Islands. Me, Hogan Senior and Mr Williams have come fishing just for a couple of hours. I'm here, you can see my rods, I've got one out just in front of these pads and the other one on the point of the island where those reeds are. As you can see, I've not long got here. Some stuff still scattered. They're much further along that way. If we get some action, I'll take you down to them. But in the meantime, fingers crossed for me, tubers. That's what it's all about. I'm on some, uh, phew, I can't think what the boilers I've got. CC Moore Life System. So let's hope for the best, tubers. Anyway, see you in a moment. Right then, tubers. I've done the deed. We forgot to record the battle. Hogan Senior. He's just cleaning up the fish. He's going to take a few photos and have a little bit of a video of it in a second. All right, Shavers. Lovely new spec mirror. Get him up for the camera. Right, they haven't finished weighing him yet. He's still a bit lively. Come on, you're going to be a star on YouTube. Uh, bit of an annoying looking mouth, but you can't always win it. It went 23, 15 with the net and the, the unhooking mat. So we'll find out it's true weight in a minute. Right, and tubers, we're just weighing the net now. That's back the front for you guys, but that's five six. What's the mass on that? It'd be twenty three nine minus five pounds. Eighteen nine. Eighteen nine. That ain't bad, is it for a new for spec? A mirror? For a mirror, yeah. We like mirrors. We do. <laughs> the trouble is, they're few and far between here, aren't they? They are very few and far between. There's a very nice mirror at Kell Lake, but Kell wasn't for us today, was it? No. <laughs> anyway, let's try and get another one for the. Uh, channel. See you in a moment. One. The only trouble is, Gil. Yeah, we haven't got a net between us. We have, it's behind us. Can you hold the thing? One-handed fishing tubers. <laughs> if I have to drop the camera, I do. I'll trade you the net for the phone. I mean, for this digital DLR, whatever it is. Your hand's in the way this time. Yeah. It's only been out, what? Three minutes before I come down to see you and Will? A Leviathan. Mm -hmm. Do you want to step back and get me in the shot as well? I'll oh, grab the net. Mm -hmm. Got a much better looking male. Pop. 
Parker. <laughs> right then, tubers. This could only been out a few minutes since the last uh, fish, which was a beautiful 18.9-ish mirror. We got something slightly bigger. Went 28.12 in the in the mat. In the mat. No net this time. Let's have a look at him. I can tell he's a bigger fish just from that. Uh, uh, another stunning carp. Well, I say another. That last one's mouth was knackered, but the mouth on this one's beautiful, tubers. That came to the uh, CC Moore Life System. It's turning around. Have a look at the other side. That's what it's all about. They ain't a bad fish for new spec, really. Amongst the biggest. Anyway, let's slip it back and see what the uh, unhooking map goes. Right then, tubers. 312. So if you say 312. 312 for quick mass, that's 25 pound on the nose. On the nose. I'm not worried about an ounce. That ain't bad, is it? I thought, just need you to catch uh, Hogan Senior. What's the matter? Wrong swim. <laughs> in matter of fact, about half an hour ago when we arrived, you said to me you thought there was fish in that swim, didn't you? There's a lot of fish in that swim. He should have picked that swim. I said to him, if you want it, it's yours. But being the kind old gentleman oh, he gentleman. is, kind old gentleman he is, he let me have it. I was going to go and blank his corner. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> Free bag. <laughs> in again, tubers. Much smaller this time. We'll have a look at him on the mat. Do you to... We'll slip him back, I think. On the... Nice condition. Just about half the size of what I really want to catch. Cracking looking fish, just about. Oh, my glasses are down. About half the size you'd really want him to be, wouldn't he? <laughs> anyway, we'll slip him back, and then I think I'll let one of the other boys have the next alarm if they, theirs don't go before me. Anyway, it's a good session so far. We've been here what 45 minutes, maybe. An Hi right, Tubers, Mr Williams is off. Got to set up in there. Well, we've only been here half hour, 45 haven't we? Yeah. Very short session so far. Well I've just cast in that one and then... If I give you the net... Yeah. We're... We'll get the action shot for you guys. I'm getting too old to be doing all this running around. Beautiful battle curve, isn't it? I tell you what, tubes, this is a beautiful evening. <laughs> the net was off to <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, it's just there. We get the uh, the sound of happiness any moment, I'm sure. Only a tiddler, but they're all well. Carp's just off screen at the moment, tubers. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Right, let's get her on the unhooking mat. Oh, tubers. Mr. William's going to unhook this one in the net, he's going to well, try. I think I am. I don't want to pull on that. I just want to... yeah. Oh, 
Where's your lead? Yes. Yeah. Um, the leads are fish that drop off, so it's gone, unfortunately. Does it drop off every time with that method? Well, no, it's lead clip. I'm fishing the corner lead clips. Um, but very but loosely. Just nip the tail rubber on the end and... A good dumps, chance of it dumping. It dumps the lead. If you get a violent take, which you do here, it dumps the lead. But normally, where I'm fishing a different lake in weed, you want that lead dumped. To. Right, the gilly's just the right. Oh, he's look, he's brought his uh, scales. I don't think Mr. Williams is worried about weighing it, but Hogan Senior here is ever so excited. I'm zeroed it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have weighed it. He's a true reliable gilly. Zero. <laughs> you could take him anywhere, tubers, and he'd be happy to be there and loyal to the last, won't you? Absolutely. <laughs> Always loyal. Always loyal. Always picks the good fishing spots for you, doesn't you? For other people, <laughs> yeah. not myself. That's what a ghillie's job is. <laughs> I reckon he's about eight pound. Oh, Jesus. We'll keep filming until he's... I was going to weigh it first. Zero the scales, remember. Just zipping it up so it doesn't slip down the sides. It's a very noobish mistake I see people do. I've done it myself in the early days, but I learnt from it. The fish goes out. There you go. Moment of truth. Mr. Williams reckons eight. I reckon that's closer to ten. Oh no, it's gone higher than we thought, Mr. Williams. Is it? We're going to get hold. Hold it eleven fifteen. That ain't bad. You thought it was only eight. I thought it was closer to ten, so it was well under still. Yeah, is that with the net off? Yeah. Oh, well, I am shocked. Alright. <laughs> Alright, and Chubers. Oh, still giving us a little bit of chip. Always lively in here, the commons, isn't they? Yeah. Oh. Come on, you Flipping huh? marvellous night, obviously, Chubers. Full moon, wasn't it, yesterday? Yeah, it was, yeah. It's not bad for a Saturday evening's fishing. Look at that. £11.5. Eleven fifteen. Sorry, tubers. We're selling him short. Just going to show you that we do do things right here, tubers. Just going to put one in. Called a carp care, is it? No, uh, gardener one. Gardener carp care. It's good. Just spray it on. Okay. And if you rub it, it doesn't rub off. There you are, okay. We're treating all the fish the same. And slipping back, I reckon. Just get him in there. Yeah. Don't slip in yourself. There we go. Nice firm footing. Slips back happily. Parker. Parker. Yeah, it's got the right orientation. Do you want to step back and I'll get the net? Right? I did offer Hogan Senior this one, but he took one look at the size of the fish and refused it, tubers. After those two cracking ones at the start, it has been spoiled. Now, a couple of little tiddlers. There we are. Yeah. Right, Tubers, I'm going to make this brief because he's quite lively and he's not worth weighing for us. But let's hold him up for the camera. Look at that. Came off the same spot as that lovely mirror. Like I say, we're slipping back and let's see if Hogan Senior can get one himself. You could have had this one, Adrian, but he turned his nose up at it for some strange reason. <laughs> see you tomorrow. 
Right in Tubers, we've got Mr. Blanco there. I offered him the rod with a fish on, but he turned his nose up. Apparently, it wasn't big enough. <laughs> it was a tiddler. It must have been about all of seven, eight pounds, maybe. I don't think it was a double that last one, was it? But it was a good enough fish uh, for me. Lovely condition, as you see. Mr. Williams, he's had a fish. 11.15? Yeah. So it's been quite a productive day. We've had three doubles. We tossed one back, I didn't want to weigh. And that lovely 25 pounder. That ain't bad. Leaves us all to say. Are you going to say it all at the same time? Two, Two bag! bag. <laughs>